Hey, beautiful people. It's your girl Rocky, your revolutionary hippie from Life is Rocky. Please like, share, and subscribe. So today on Rocky's Reflections, as you know, I'm engaged. And like this wedding journey has been stressful. And when I was younger, I needed a lot more when I was imagining my wedding. So my mom was like, oh, you're going to be a bridezilla and all this other stuff. And since, you know, coming back down to earth to reality, my fiance and I, we don't have the means to have the wedding of our dreams. And I went no contact with my narcissistic father, which means he's not paying for the wedding, um, which means... It's basically on us. I did ask my mom um, for financial help. She did offer and then said her partner would be able to, to help as well. But I'm still not because she's not making that much either. Um, and she's about to retire and doesn't really have retirement funds. So I'm definitely like, if this is possible, you know. Um, and it's like. For the day to be about us, good God, is it about other people? And I'm just, I wasn't prepared. Like, sure, there's family drama when it comes to wedding movies. Did I pay attention to that? No, I was caught up in the love story. <laughs> and I'm just like, yo, I see why my fiance just wanted to go to the courthouse with a couple of witnesses. I understand now. Baby, if you're watching this, I understand now. I'm going to go and tell you this, but I understand now. Because good God. Um, like, it's just so much stress. And again, it's like, so we've been in a committed life partnership for three years. And so since the beginning of that, that commitment, we've known that we were going to have a wedding. Right. So I've been able to like slowly and patiently plan this without too much of a headache because it was slow. Like it wasn't within the rush time frame that I needed to know things. Right. And when I des when I was designing our wedding, I was designing it with us in mind. Like these are the things that we would enjoy about our wedding. And was I factoring in other people? No, I was like, you get to experience this, you know? Um, I wasn't considering, let's make the day something that you would want, you know? So that's coming into the guest list where both my mom and his mom are talking about people that we don't know. Like my mom was talking about somebody I have never met before. And I'm like, mom, really? <laughs> How is somebody I never met going to be at my wedding just because they're friends with you? This is not your wedding. And if mom decides to get married again, she can invite her. But, uh, or invite them. It was probably the woman. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah. So. And like, when I was trying to set that boundary with my mom, she called me a bridezilla. And I was like, no, this is me just setting a boundary. I don't know this person. And I'm not going to get to know them on my wedding day. You know, <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> but uh, yeah. But again, I see, I see why it was just courthouse and two witnesses. But no, I couldn't let that be. I wanted at least a few people and we were looking at like 25 and that's just our immediate families, um, our immediate family in Oakland and then like our local family community that isn't really blood relatives, you know? Um, so basically the people we interact with frequently, you know? So the people we don't interact with frequently or at all, I'm like, why are they here? <laughs> so, yeah. And then, yeah, we don't have the money. If somebody wants to pay for it, sure, we can invite whoever and do whatever. But then even then it's like, well, then the day's about you. It's still not about us because you're not factoring into us. We're not you. 
We are not you. Like, I've long realized I was not my parents. Love them, but I'm not them. I'm me. That's why I chose my life partner, because he was most similar to me. <sighs> so, yeah. I don't know if you can see, but I got my hair done. And that was for the engagement party. <laughs> so... But yeah, if you deal with wedding stress, basically family members putting their expectations on you and having trouble setting boundaries with them, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, I'm like, we live in such a bubble where we're self-employed, we choose the people we allow into our lives. And we literally create the life that we want. So we don't have to deal with other people's expectations. And it's like a real test to my boundaries to face them right now. But hey, if I was able to go not contact with my dad because I respected my own boundaries, I'm pretty sure I can do that with anybody else. Because that was the hardest boundary I ever had to enforce. Because my dad and I were cool growing up. And the fact that I was able to, to enforce that boundary, I had to make the decision prior to getting engaged that I was like, okay, if I make this decision to go no contact with my father, that means I'm not having him at my wedding. That means that what I always imagined, even though I was uh, flou floundering, floundering, hesitant about my dad walking me down the aisle just because I don't really agree with that whole property history let me pass you off from father to husband and I don't really agree with that I can walk myself down the aisle I probably am want to do my own thing walking down the aisle not necessarily be hooked on someone's arm yeah but saying that he wouldn't even be at the wedding invited all that that was like a huge decision that I cried about, I had to go to therapy about, you know? Um, but that was, um, he was also coming for my partner. So no, that was the final straw, honestly. But I'm going on a tangent. But anyways, if I could set my boundary with my dad who I had an amazing relationship with when I was a child, like then yeah, I can set it with anybody. So <sighs> These wedding stress, this wedding stress ain't going to get me down. I'm going to be able to have the day that I want. We're having a larger wedding later. I guess people can't wait. <laughs> but shit, I'm not getting the wedding that I want so fully. So, geez. Everybody is unhappy at some part, okay? <laughs> but yeah, so we'll see. We'll see how this goes. <sighs> some shit some shit but alright beautiful people what's your journey like what's your wedding story let me know and for that bigger wedding I'm hiring a planner I ain't doing the shit alone although I'm so grateful for my maid of honor she's so helpful and takes a lot of the wedding stress off of me I'm gonna text her about this shit <laughs> But all right, subscribe, help me get monetized so that way I can afford the wedding of my dreams. Peace and love.